Our issue with our locates are almost always going to be because more than our target is energized. Something else metal, it could also be above the ground, but normally it's below the ground, is taking some of our transmitter's energy and the field that the non-target is building is affecting our field on the target. We call that a not round field, and a not round field means inaccurate. We're going to locate to my left, paying attention to the peak number. We have a second peak. Right here, and this location is over the water main. So peak and null disagree. And the amount that they disagree is the distance between my two toes. We've got two sets of marks, um, and, and that shows the problem right there. Where the null locates, or where the arrows come together, and then where the number's the highest. When peak and null disagree, peak is almost always closer to being right than null. Can't wait till you can see how far this one's off for where we're actually at. Which where you want it located. Okay. Well let, let's see where Peak and Null is. Okay, let's take a look at this here, guys. Alright, that is our null locate. All right, we got our arrows. Now the orientation is showing this way, but I want them to walk closer to the road, see if the numbers change. So right here, we're showing a peak and null that agree. So your peak and null do not agree. It's pointing you out that way. So um, it's possible we may be getting a peak here. Let's slowly go this way and see what happens. No, the stronger signal that way. Yeah, a stronger signal there than here, but you don't have a peak and null that agree. So that's what would cause you to say, hey, I gotta try something different with the transmitter. Lydia! Push it to 512. Okay, so let's just see what happens with the lower frequencies. So that's his null locate right there. And he's got a 30, a 39 reading. So as he goes off to the side, what we hope to see is that fall off from 39 on either side.
512 can't be used to locate. When you hold the instrument still and your numbers fluctuate, if they fluctuate just a little bit, that's okay. That's what we call okay current. They fluctuate just a little bit. We'd like to have steady or what we call good current, but if the numbers don't hold, they're just fluctuating in a small range. That's okay. But um, when they fluctuate in a large range, that means you don't have sufficient current on your conductor to build a decent field. And sometimes that happens with 512. So an ungrounded far end on 9.82 still gives us a locate. The numbers are steady. As we move away from the water line, which has some energy, we'll move away in six inch segments. You can watch the milliamps rise. The farther we get from the tray safe, the more milliamps we have, and the deeper the depth displays. So here are the receiving antennas of the instrument that we used in this video. This is the bottom antenna, and this is the top antenna. It's important to understand that the current measurement readings that we see displayed on our receiver in milliamp units are merely an estimation. They are calculated, these milliamp readings, by the exact same way that depth is estimated. It's impossible to say that I don't believe my depth, but I do believe my current measurement readings. When we see the milliamp number on the transmitter, it is indeed a true number. It's representative of the amount of current that is flowing out of the transmitter and back through the ground to the transmitter. Let's recap what we've learned in this video. A not round field is one that is created when your transmitter's energy is not just on the target line, the line you're trying to locate. Other underground utilities or even above ground metallic structures such as guardrails or vehicles can create not round fields. Not round equals not accurate. Far end grounds are important to establishing the level of current on the tray safe wire. One frequency is not better than the other. They'll do different things. And the best frequency is gonna be the one that gives you good current and round fields. Other pieces of metal is your answer, yeah. <laughs> okay? What those pieces are and where they're located, we don't have x-ray vision, we don't know. 